guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the long waiting video that a lot of you have been requesting me and I did ask you guys in my last video, well my last tutorial, if uh, you guys gave me a thumbs up that I would do the video where I talk about my favorite Sigma brushes. So today I finally decided to film it and before the month actually ends because stay tuned till the end because there's a good opportunity for you guys to buy the Sigma brushes right now. I only pick one brush for every single application like for foundation, blush, and so on. Just in case some of you guys are in a little budget. They can be a little pricey. So I only pick one brush for every single thing. And um, don't mind my look right now. <laughs> I was just gonna tell you guys that the lady decided to cut them really short but um, don't mind my hair. <laughs> I'm trying to work with it. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I am going to talk about is the way I apply my makeup on normal daily basis, which is first I apply my foundation and the brush I use is the F80 Kabuki brush. Now, I'm not really going to talk about this brush a lot because it is so popular. I've talked about it so many times on my YouTube channel. And by the way, all my brushes right now are dirty because I just used them, so I hope you guys don't mind. This is the Sigma F80. It's basically really, really dense, I would say, but at the same time, it has this movement when you're applying your foundation that it makes it, you know, apply so smoothly, so easy. I feel like any foundation could go with this, even to the powder ones, like where you could press it on, you know. It is so, so good. I highly recommend this foundation brush. If you haven't gotten the message, you should definitely get one. And right now, for the month of August, they just came out with this one, but in the copper color. So, you guys know I had to order one. <laughs> so, I ordered two more of these in the copper color. Um, and they're only limited edition right now, so it's only while supplies last. So, I would get it as soon as it runs out. But if not, you could get the one with that is like silver which is still okay, it's still the same function, it's just different preference of color, you know? The next brush I want to talk about is something that I also use for my eyes and on my face and this is the Sigma E40 blending brush. Now, I use this for my face because I like to use this for two purposes. One is to blend out my concealer and the other one is to contour on my nose. It's so fluffy and really great for blending that out when you're doing your contour or whenever you want to um, blend out your concealer. Now for the eyes, I always use this brush to apply the first color on my crease. You guys already know that probably. This is such a universal brush that I feel like you could use it for a lot of other things. So fluffy, so soft and I just love it and this is actually one of the first brushes I ever ordered from them and then from there I bought kits. Um, but I have like three of these <laughs> because I really love it. Like I said, I would use one for contouring, one for blending out my concealer, and then one for my eyes. The next thing I usually do also for concealer is I like to carve out my brows. And the brush I use for that is the concealer brush, the F70, which looks like this. It's a really small pointy brush that I just really love that I could, you know, so easily carve out my brows. I always use this every single day. And pretty much all these brushes I use every single day. Um, but I really love this. I know they have another bigger one. But I like them to be more smaller just so you could get more precise with your application. So I really love this um, concealer brush. And I really recommend it out of any other one if you want to carve out your brows. I mean you could use another flat shader brush just to carve out your brows. But I feel like a concealer brush works just as best. And also for those inner corners when you're trying to like get in there you could get really precise with this one now the next brush I want to talk about is the one I used to contour and apply my bronzer I could actually get a really precise contour with this brush and this is the small contour F05 which looks like this it kind of goes up like a little fluffy brush and then it like gets flattened out at the top I really love using the sides just to contour but if I really want just to apply bronzer I just flatten it out and I kind of blend it out and it really works to blend out this flawless like bronzy look on your face of course here you just you know I flatten it out at the top and then as I'm getting more on top of my my hairline I kind of like turn it around a little more to the side by the way for the girls that keep telling me that I need to shave my baby hairs or anything I am not gonna do that so just stop with the whole comments of telling me that I'm gonna have to shave my baby hairs because I will never shave them. If I ever do something, 
that's the last thing I'm gonna do is shave them. But anyways, so yeah, this is my favorite contour brush out of all the other ones that they have. The next brush I use is for my blush, and this is this um, F10, which is the powder blush. Now you can use this as a powder or for blush. I just mainly use it strictly just for blush. And I just love how, I mean, look at that. It just covers my the apple of my cheek so great that all I have to do is kind of sweep it around. And then that's all about, I'll have to do. I mean, it kind of almost blends it in by itself, like into my face. Like I don't even have to use a stippling brush at times if I'm just applying a blush. But if I have my contour and everything else, like today, I pretty much just apply this and then get my stippling brush, which the stippling brush that I use is the dual fiber and it's the F50, which looks like this. They have a smaller one, but I just feel like the bigger the brush, like it's so much faster and easier. I don't know why. This brush, I use it for a lot of things. I also use this for whenever I want to apply foundation and I just want more light coverage. I just apply this all over my face and boom, I'm at the door. But I mainly just love to use this brush to blend out my blush or to blend in together my blush and contour that way it doesn't look so harsh now for a highlight I love to apply it with this little tapered blending brush which I like to call a blending brush but it's not a blending brush but anyways this is the taper highlighter which is the f35 and I just love how small it is and just how I mean just look how smoothly it's going on your skin like it just blends that highlight so beautiful on your skin and I don't know I just really really love how it just moves and it has like this little pointy side so most of the product will concentrate on there and then as you move it all of the other rest of the brush is obviously going to help you blend it out but I really love this and also for that cupid bow it since it has like this little pointy thing perfection <laughs> so I really really love this and I really recommend it for you guys um, if you guys are looking for a great one I know a lot of girls use like this fan brush I personally don't like that I feel like I don't know I just feel like it's not even applying anything <laughs> now to set my under eye concealer and the rest of my face with a powder I like to use this brush which is the tapered face and it's the f25 and it's just a little tapered brush where I love to use this for my under eye, um, to set my under eye concealer. It just fits so perfectly in there, like, I don't know, it's just meant to be for that. Like, I mean, it is meant to be for that, but I really, really love it. And I just love how when you're going down, you could just use the pointy side. And it's not going to get into your hairs of your brows or anything. It's just like perfect for all those little small areas. Oh my god, I just love this brush, you guys. This is the only powder brush that I use. If it's ever really, really dirty, I will use the other one, which is the which is the F30 brush, which looks like this. It's a really huge brush, and I will just use this like to pack out my powder. But I like this one because it could really get under your eye, and this one, it it's too huge for me <laughs> so I don't really like that one the one I prefer to use is this one now getting into the eye brushes the other blending brush that I love that I love to use other than the E40 is the E25 which looks like this now this one is a little smaller and a little a little tiny bit more dense just because the the bristles are a little more tighter and it's just like that perfect like you know when, I don't know if you guys watch Desi, but she ever, whenever she applies her second eyeshadow in her crease and she gets really precise with it to sharpen her crease out, I don't know, it just, it's just like perfection. She says she uses this one or either the MAC 217, and I do own the MAC 217, but I don't like that one so much because this one I feel like I could get really perfect in there. I really, really recommend this brush to you guys. If you guys are ever having that really hard time trying to get that crease to get perfect, like, I don't know, or even for a cut crease, this is your brush. This is the E25 and I highly, highly recommend it. By the way, I'm going to leave links to every brush down below just in case you guys are interested in any of them. Now moving on to the eye brushes that I apply my lid colors. Now there are two brushes and I could not pick one only because there are two reasons. One of them is really, mm, it's way more huge than the other one. And the two brushes I'm talking about, this is the large shader which is E60 and this is the eye shading which is E55. And I love both and sometimes when I'm in a rush or either I'm packing on some glitter or anything I will opt out for the E60 just because it's so big I could spray the fix plus so easily on it and just pack on my glitter 
And then for this one, it's for shadows when I'm using like really dark colors, like black, for example. Um, it's more it's more tiny so you could actually pack that in there when this one is more larger so the bristles are more, so they're a little more looser so these are the two brushes that i love to use um just depending on what kind of shadow or glitter i'm using um and yeah <laughs> now the other brush i cannot live without like it is so important in my kit and i feel like it's important for everyone's kit it's the one to apply your lower lash line. Now, there are two brushes I love to use, but this one, I just have to mention it because it is so important to me and I use it every single time I do my makeup. And it's the pencil brush, which is the E30. Now, I'm sorry, right now again, it's dirty, but I really love this one because you get that precise application because it's a little dome. And you get that really precise application under your eye and at the same time, it kind of blends it out for you. So you don't even have to go in there with another brush to blend it out. Now, the other brush that I was going to mention is the flat one, which is like really, really like flat. But that one doesn't blend it. You will still, no matter what, have to go back in with a pencil brush and blend it out. So if you guys are looking for something that will help you apply that, especially when working with really dark colors, because a lot of girls have a hard time applying this because then they feel like they have like a black eye or something or raccoon eyes. This is the brush for you guys. It seriously will help you guys so much. I'm like, I'm gonna admit it. I sometimes used to have raccoon eyes. So what? I didn't own a pencil brush and I didn't know really much about anything about makeup. I'm self-taught, so that's something that I just want to recommend to everyone. It's also so great to get precise in your outer V or either in your crease. So, so good. And oh i just love it and also if you're ever doing like that smoky eye with the winged eyeliner you could smoke out your winged eyeliner with this brush as well now last but not least there's this other brush that i really really recommend and it's new from sigma and this is the winged liner eo6 which is a little tiny baby and right now it's dirty again i'm sorry but this brush you guys oh can we talk about how much time it has saved me so far from doing my gel liner i never ever 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 use gel eyeliner because i would have to go so slowly go in there with makeup remover do it all over again sometimes i would get frustrated and then just take it off and do my eyeliner with liquid but this brush is so tiny and it is so flexible that it really helps with how where you want to apply and how much of it you know whenever you start applying eyeliner you get these really thick winged eyeliner and you're just like sitting there like how the hell did i get this you know and with this one it's so tiny you will never have that problem i mean unless if you're going all the way up right as long as you're staying really really close to your lash line you're never gonna have that problem so i really really recommend this brush it seriously has saved me so much time when i'm doing my gel liner I did it in my last tutorial and I also got all the gel liners from Sigma. I actually won it in a giveaway. Um, but it, it, I don't know, it's just making it so much easier. But just in case you guys are interested in learning how to apply a gel liner, I really recommend this brush for you guys. Seriously, uh, so glad they made this little tiny brush for me. <laughs> So that is basically it you guys. Those are all my brushes that I 100% recommend that are my favorite that if I ever lost all my brushes and I had to go back and repurchase any of them, these are the brushes I would purchase. Now some of them come in kits and I do recommend the kits because honestly you save yourself a lot of money and you get the opportunity to try the other brushes and the other brushes are so amazing. In general Sigma brushes are like my number one favorite if you guys didn't know that already because I only use Sigma brushes. I do use some MAC and other brands. But Sigma is my favorite. I have never ever had a problem with them where, you know, the bristles are coming off or anything, you know, like in general, they are so amazing. If you guys are interested in purchasing any Sigma brushes or the kits or the makeup or anything, I have a coupon code for you guys and it's August 2000. Well, it's AUG, abbreviation for August 2014. I will have it written right here. And you're gonna get 10% off your whole purchase. And if you live in the U.S., there is free shipping for this whole entire month of August. So you guys have one last paycheck to go and purchase any brushes if you guys want. Um, so take advantage of it. I definitely did. <laughs> I will leave a link 
to where you could get them down below in the description box and a list of the whole brushes with each link to each um, brush. That way you guys could go check them out if you guys are interested in any of these brushes. If you guys are wondering about my lipstick, it's from Gerard Cosmetics. And, tomorrow, and actually today, today Thursday, is when they launch their new lipsticks. So you guys could go ahead and get them. And also, I also have a coupon code for you guys where you could, guys could get them on discount. So my coupon code is BEAUTYBIRD, just like my name here on YouTube. That way you guys get a discount in their entire website. So with that, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>